Hello, I'm John Ray on the Price and Value Journey. Years ago, I was having lunch with a close friend of mine, a person who I consider to be on my unofficial board of directors, you might say. I was seeking his advice on one of those fork-in-the-road decisions I had to make, and I can't remember exactly what it was, but I remember vividly the guidance he gave me. Do what makes your heart sing, he said. I thought of this moment recently as I interviewed a friend of mine, Becky Berry, who's a terrific career coach, mostly for women, and she talked about wanting to get her clients into a role for which they'd be able to sigh with delight at the end of each day. What a beautiful phrase and what a beautiful idea. Whichever of these metaphors resonate with you, or or maybe you have one of your own, use one as a touchstone as you build your practice. If thinking about a meeting with a client makes your heart sing, then that client is the right one for you. If the thought of that meeting makes your heart sound like my five-year-old grandson banging on the piano, then it's time to reassess and do something about it. And it might not be that client's fault, by the way. It might be yours for having taken them on to begin with. Let's expand the lens a bit wider. As solo and small firm professional services providers, we are sometimes captivated and maybe imprisoned by the idea of scaling our business into thousands of customers generating millions of dollars in revenue. Maybe you see everyone else doing it, quote unquote, and you feel pangs of inadequacy over where you are in your journey. And by the way, what you've blown up into everyone else, quote unquote, is actually a small minority. A lot of those people you envy, you've confused their social media presence with striking graphics, cool videos, and lots of likes with their revenue. And those aren't the same things. You put the big firm in your rear view mirror because you don't want to be saddled with difficult clients, with corporate demands, which are ruining your life. You went out on your own because you wanted to do the work you love. You want to go all out for clients you adore, sprinkling value all over them. They, in turn, love you back because of the transforming work you do for them. Now that you've made the jump, Why are you doing anything other than what makes your heart sing? Why are you in client relationships, which make you unhappy? And incidentally, the client might be secretly miserable as well. Maybe you're taking on business, which isn't a great fit because you have some artificially inflated notion of where you should be in your headlong quest to scale your business. Let me say this very plainly. There's nothing wrong with a so-called lifestyle business. Don't be shamed into thinking otherwise. Anyone who looks down on your lifestyle business, which is a term I'm not really crazy about, is a jerk, frankly, and they you don't need to be listening to them. There's nothing wrong with chasing big goals and scaling your business. That's perfectly honorable. If that's what makes your heart sing, go with it. Wherever you are in your own unique journey, don't forget that the most effective way to scale your business is to change your pricing. This is not my opinion. It's an accounting fact. It works for lifestyle businesses and for businesses wanting to scale. If you make addressing your pricing a regular part of your management practice, you'll have a business which makes your heart sing. I'm John Ray on the Price and Value Journey. Past episodes of this series can be found at pricevaluejourney.com. And if you're not already a subscriber on your favorite podcast app, I would be honored if you would subscribe there as well. Hey, big news for 2023. I've got a book coming out. Uh, The title of the book is The Price and Value Journey. Raise your confidence, your value, and your prices to grow your business using the generosity mindset. If you'd like to know more about the book and when it will be released, you're welcome to email me directly, john at johnray.co. Thank you for joining me.